Hey guys, Aaron Kubitz, personal trainer at Functional Aesthetic CC. So, um, last week I posted a video where I was laying out in the snow and I uh, left a few comments about how I found that this uh, cold exposure actually helps to boost energy when you're kind of just like mentally tired and it also helps to kind of relieve stress. Basically the reason, you know, I got into this, so like the past several years, I've been kind of experimenting a little bit with cold exposure. However, that was the first time that I've ever kind of laid out, you know, uh, without my shirt in the snow. And uh, it was a little bit cold, but um, it definitely did seem to boost my energy and help to improve my mood. And uh, I started doing this actually because of Wim Hof, uh, ran across his stuff uh, several years ago, and uh, thought it was very intriguing that he could run a half marathon barefoot uh, above the Arctic Circle, and so I decided to kind of try that out. Well, recently I was doing some research and it actually seems like the science actually backs that up. So uh, there is some promising evidence that uh, cold exposure can almost work kind of like uh, a low-grade shock therapy for people who struggle with depression. Depression. Um, also, if you are uh, going through a lot of stress, this uh, uh, this um, cold exposure actually does help to uh, reduce cortisol. It actually helps to increase uh, dopamine levels as well, and uh, reduce um, or increase uh, you know adrenaline as well, which is probably the uh, reason for the. Uh, increase in energy and alertness and a more positive outlook and stuff like that. It also ha uh, increases some uh, levels of certain neurotransmitters that uh, are also in some popular uh, antidepressant drugs, also without the negative side effects. So I'm going to leave some of the links to these uh, research articles in the uh, thing below the video. Um, furthermore, it also helps to uh, uh, I guess get rid of excess uric acid, which can contribute to gout and kidney problems and things like that. Um, the other thing uh, is that if you have, you know, puffy or swollen eyes or something like that, if you do kind of a contrast between warm and cold, that can help to get rid of that as well. And then also that contrast, whether you're going from warm to cold or going from cold to warm, helps to create a kind of flushing mechanism to help clear out your system a little bit, uh, have a kind of cleansing action, and also improve the resilience and, uh, um, I guess, strength of your cardiovascular system making it overall more healthy and the way it does this is because uh, when you're subjected to cold the uh, blood vessel constrict and then the um, causing your blood to go more towards your core to keep you uh, warmer and then when you are subjected to heat your blood's uh, uh, blood vessels relax or vasodilate and uh, this creates uh, causes the blood to flow back out towards the extremities so when you contrast this back and forth it creates that flushing action that I talked about previously so obviously you know going in uh, into an ice bath or a cold shower when you're not accustomed to it is quite shocking and that's what most people's reaction is and that was kind of my reaction initially as well although I had worked a job where I was outside for eight hours a day in the winter time and so I had some experience with how you can adapt to the cold and become more accustomed to it um, there's also research about a special type of fat called brown fat that helps actually burn calories to keep you warmer in the cold and it's activated by cold exposure but my recommendation recommendations for uh, if you are trying to become uh, more acclimated to the cold uh, and go gradually similar to like you know when you're training for a marathon or you're trying to lift more weight or just uh, any sort of you know stress you build up gradually uh, slowly and gradually over time so um, my recommendation would be to uh, if you're gonna do this you know and you live in a cold area or something like that and you're gonna do this in the winter time uh, you know, do your workout or something that's going to get you nice and warm beforehand. Um, ideally, you know, if you are in, in better shape and stuff, this will also help you to stay warmer uh, in cold weather as well with uh, minimal clothing. And so what you can do is, uh, you know, go out there when you are uh, colder or warmer and then do the Wim Hof 
breathing method, which is uh, fully inhale, inhaling and then fully exhaling. So you breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. You do that 20 times and then the last time you breathe all the way out. And then you wait until you feel that kind of almost gag reflex where you have to breathe in again. Take a deep breath in and then uh, hold that again until you feel like you have to expel and let the breath out. And then you repeat that five times. So preferably you want to be in a place where you can completely concentrate on this. Don't do this while you're driving. Don't do this while you're in the bathtub. You know where you could pass out or something like that, you know, if you're not used to it. Um, but, and then just stay out there until your body temperature returns back to normal or you start to feel un comfortably colder just before that point you know you don't want to overstress the body but merely push back that point where your body uh begins to you know feel uh stressed uh, another way you can do that is also with cold showers so at the end of the shower or end of your shower maybe the last minute 30 seconds or whatever um enough time to do 20 full deep breaths in and out you turn that water temperature down just slightly below the point where you're comfortable and then you know, just relax into that cold. So instead of tensing up, focus on taking nice, deep, slow breaths, relaxing and breathing all the way in and all the way out, and that'll help you to acclimate yourself to this. So, you know, don't take my word for it. Uh, give it a try, you know, uh, do it, you know, maybe a couple minutes, um, three times a week or so in the beginning uh and you know try that for about a month and see if that helps you to actually acclimate and become more comfortable with being outside of the cold if it helps you increase your alertness and uh reduce stress you know maybe if you're like mentally stressed or just mentally tired trying that out and see if it doesn't help so that's my thoughts today uh let me know what you think in the comments below if you uh have tried this before let me know what your uh experience has been around surrounding this do you like it do you not like it has it worked for you or not and uh, we will see you all next time for more health and fitness related information thanks guys